So come next week, overall in Black Clover, we're actually going to be getting brand new characters that we haven't seen before. Obviously, JP and KR, since they're far ahead, that's when the new characters will come into play. And so with the introduction of brand new characters will come the Season 8, or Season 9, I don't know what season they're going to call it, because technically Season 8 is right now. But regardless, new seasonals, Yami and Luck. Uh, obviously a huge thanks to Vanilla because of course they are keeping us informed with the upcoming characters with their newest kits and how they're going to come about, if they're going to be broken, if they're going to be trashed, giving us information early ahead of time. For whatever reason, Yami's been updated boys. So you guys already know the drill. Because here's the thing, Luck and Yami, with their kits initially, I was excited for them both. So for Yami to get updated, I'm hoping it's going to be broken because give me a reason to max him out. Give me a goddamn reason, I'll do it. Obviously, Mero Leona right now has got a lot of people's attention, but the boys are dropping next week, it being the 11th. So let's just kind of have a little gander through on what has been updated. I'll go through the whole kit, might as well, just to see. So obviously with the skill one, um, so continuously stabs an enemy, dealing damage. This is, a, a, this is the number of continuous slashes you can use. Deals X percent of attack and magic attack adds extra damage. Upon using skill 1, the number of instances of extra damage increases max X times. Okay. Upon attacking an enemy, inflicted with bleed uh, inflicts a X percent of reduced HP recovery received debuff uh, on an enemy for X amount of turns. So that's the one thing which um, this is how... I mean, to be honest, I, I kind of want to know what this um, Yami's typing is. Because he's working off from bleed, queen and black Aster combo. Obviously, queen supporting black Aster, but also applying the DOT. I'm just saying that, that you know, we, we might be onto something there when it comes to whatever. Because if this Yami comes in as red, then we also got to take into the fact the um, the uh, all red team, uh, the, well, the buff that, of course, uh, Queen can apply. So I'm just putting that out there. I don't know what typing he is. I don't know if, if, if it's been stated or not, but if he is a red typing, all oh, this is going to be interesting. We'll say that much. Uh, moving over to the skill two. So I think skill two and onwards, we've got a lot of new stuff being added. So um, I haven't gone through this. All I just saw was that the uh, Yama's been updated. Okay, let's have a look. Skill 2, it's AoE. Attacks after removing counter-attack from an enemy. So, for anyone who doesn't know, this uh, season Yami is going to be the counter-attacking counter, essentially. Um, and then, of course, upon attacking an enemy afflicted with bleed, he inflicts stun. So that's AoE stun, right? Because you can affect bleed on everyone, and his second skill is AoE, so that's good. If the enemy has no bleed, inflicts bleed for X amount of turns. Okay, so that's obviously bad. That's not too bad. I mean, if you link him up with Charlotte, then you can pretty much get the second um, skill in whilst bleed is still being active. Because I, I assume the bleed will be on there for like two turns, maybe. If that is the case, then you can make good use of that. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Now, it's an additional. So I don't know if it's coming from the Grey Moor, but we'll, we'll double check it in, in a second. But moving along to the ultimate now. So oh, the ultimate is a single uh, target, it's the Dimension Slash of course, so grant self a X% percent of increased defense pen, and then grant self X% percent of attack as a barrier for X amount of turns, removes all instances of, con of continuous damage, I assume that's on him, right? But the additional is attacks with X% percent increased damage dealt when skill 1 has the maximum number of extra damage. So now we're coming into the ultimate, working off from the skill 1. Obviously once you cap that out, which I assume will be like max 5 maybe, something like that. Um, that will then correlate into the ultimate, allowing it to do more damage. Which is awesome. He's also playing the barrier play. Interesting, because I thought that was just from the passive. But either way, we've got something added for the ultimate now to work off from his kit itself. Allowing him to do more damage, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, looking into the passive, grant X percent of... Ma uh, of Increased damage dealt when attacking the defender. Is he going after? No, Mero Leon is the character that's going to be going after Asta. Either way, we've got ourselves a character that is going to be a man handling these these defending characters. Interesting. Awakening passive. Uh, okay, if there are eight SP at the start of the turn, grant X percent of attack as a barrier for X turns. Yeah. See. Yeah. If there's eight S. Oh. Okay. So you can wait. Technically speaking, if you really think about it, could you not stack that up? Because you start off with max XP at the start of the turn, which will give you that barrier, right? Coming up from your attack percent, right? And so, if you do the ultimate, it kind of adds it on. Unless you 
don't go turn one you get attack barrier takes hit use the ultimate then you get your barrier back again because it grants the barrier once again from the ultimate interesting okay and then what else has been added i, I assume this is when you lr plus five him if there are four or fewer sps at the start of the turn grant self a x percent reduced damage taken buff for x amount of turns okay that's not too bad that is a uh, yeah i mean that, yeah that's that's on the defense play so of course once you uh use the special points in the ultimate side of things of course clearly he's gonna have fewer unless you are running characters that can provide him more sp but uh, I mean, it's not too bad. I, I don't know how many turns we're going to get that defense uh, or damage reduction for, but regardless, that's still nice to have. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, partner skill, just removing counter attack. That's cool. So we've got the gray more skill on skill two. Also, this is buffing up the skill. Oh, wait. So the bleed is on skill two already. Okay, interesting. Okay, so the additional from the gray more is that on skill two, you now grant yourself a X percent increased speed for X amount of turns. Oh. This is what I want to hear. My man is getting ink. You guys know the deal with Black Clover Mobile. If you've got an increased speed on your side, that is a bit of a game changer. Let's be honest. So that Greymore now is going to be a must. <laughs> well, it's not going to be a must, but if you have it, you've got the upper hand. Let's be honest. So if anything, ever since with Black Aster, when they released his Greymore to, 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 to how much he needs it, especially if you want to you know, get the nuking numbers in, of course, because you've got to dupe it out also. Um, I knew that the developers were going to start doing this type of stuff, making the grey more um, like more of a want, right? Because it just buffs up the characters, insane. Uh, but because it just buffs up the characters a lot, right? Because now we've got a Yami, you know, a, a Yami without the grey more compared to a Yami with the grey more. I mean, that is just a bit of a game changer now. He's getting an increased speed. And the thing about this Yami is that if if he if he's got the consistency of coming in. Um, more quicker. I mean, it's going to be hugely beneficial for him for his skill one, including skill two, so that way you can potentially get the stun off. And then of course, with characters that can support him by getting him plus SP and whatnot, then the the consistency of the attacks are going to be there. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, we're going to go for the Grey Moor, boys. We have to now at this point. And then the passive for the Grey Moor. Upon using skill one, there is an X percent chance to attack after granting a X percent increased damage dealt. A. You can't go wrong with... Oh, god damn it. Wait, that's going to be so good for skill 1. Hold on a minute. So, buffing up the skill 1 with the Grey more allowing him to do, more, uh, to do more damage outside of what his skill 1 is already providing, with, especially with the extra damage, um, as well as uh, the instances of extra damage increase by... I don't know how much we can stack that up. I assume it's 5. Typically, it is 5. And then the second skill, uh, removing counter-attack... But more importantly, giving us that speed buff. So that way, if the enemy doesn't have bleed, we get bleed. And then that will then correlate into whoever characters you have. I mean, yeah, I think a winning will, would not be too bad. I, I want to know what typing key is going to be. Because this Yami really can be set up extremely well. His kit is actually very nice with what has been updated and what has been shown. So overall, I am happy that this Yami, this Dimension Slash Yami, is coming across as an amazing unit. I'm excited for these season's characters to come on out. I wonder if Luck is going to be changed. Probably not, since he's buffing up the counter-attack meta. But either way, Yami, he's coming in to stop that meta. But more importantly, this man is coming in uh, fully stacked up with increased speed, playing about with his SP. So if he's more on the offensive, he gets a barrier. If he's less on the offense with his SP, he gets defense buff. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. I can't wait. We'll see how the summons go because I'm I I like you might max out Yami because I. Oh, then again, I don't really actually. You know what? I kind of want to get. Mm, I think at the very least, I want to give him to at least the LR plus two, so that way I've got double barrier play. I think that's the very least. I'm not too bothered about the reduced damage taken on his um, LR plus five, so I think I can just comfortably kind of let that one go. But we'll see what happens if luck changes up. If not, then we're going into next week with two new boys, two new amazing characters, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited.